Hello everybody, this is Joe with GeoVision. For this video, I'd like to share some of our useful tips for installers on the GeoVision VMS platform. These tips explain how to set up recommended features of the VMS software that will be beneficial for the customer and for the system's performance. First, I would like to show the startup features. To access the startup features, you will go to the toolbar option and click configure, system configure, and startup. On this screen, there are a couple features that we recommend. The first is auto monitoring. When you enable this feature, every time the VMS software starts, the system starts monitoring or starts recording. This is a safeguard because when the software starts, you don't have to remember to turn on monitoring and you'll never have any missed footage in your recorded video. The next feature right here is auto run when Windows starts. This is a useful feature because what it will do is automatically launch the VMS software anytime the Windows software, Windows operating system boots up. This acts as a safeguard because if your system goes through a restart process and someone forgets to launch the VMS, the auto run when Windows starts feature is a backup for you. On the far right, the network section, this allows you to automatically run network services. We recommend running the webcam server, mobile service, and the control center service. This allows customers to be able to remotely view their video through our mobile application and also our desktop software. So once you get all of these turned on, you will want to hit OK, and those will go into effect the next time that you restart the VMS software. Next, I would like to explain the service mode feature. To access this, you will go into the toolbar, configure, system configure, and then you will want to go to general setting. Within the general setting menu, right here, this service mode option, what this will do for you is if the operating system reboots, the machine reboots, and you have a Windows login set on the machine where you have to enter a password, if you have service mode enabled, the VMS software will go ahead and start running in the background before you even log into Windows. Again, this acts as a safeguard because you don't have to be there in front of the machine entering your password and it will go ahead and start running for you. Exit option is another feature that we sometimes see used where if a user closes out the VMS software, it will automatically restart the machine so you can then launch the software again automatically as long as you had the service mode or the auto start feature turned on. The next feature I would like to show is the system idle protection feature. There are two features on this screen. To access them, you will go to the toolbar, configure, system configure, and then go to system idle protection setting. The first option that you have is auto monitoring. What this will do is after X amount of seconds that you can define of the system being idle, it will automatically start the monitoring of the video. In the event that someone turned off the monitoring to be able to make changes to the system and maybe they walked away and forgot to turn monitoring back on, this will be a safeguard because it will automatically start the cameras to record again. The same scenario holds true for the auto network services startup setting. Again, if someone turned off the network services and forgot to turn them back on, you can go ahead and enable this to automatically have them reboot after X amount of seconds of idle time. Another feature on this screen that I like to point out is the auto logout or switch to startup login feature. What this allows you to do is you can automatically switch user accounts after a defined system idle time. This feature is useful in the scenario where the NVR has multiple users and you don't want all users to be able to walk up to the NVR and have full access to make changes to the system. To set up this feature, you first need to create a user account. To do this, we'll go up to the user account dropdown in the top right. You'll click that and go to password setup and local account edit. Within this screen, you can click on the user section and hit new, and you can just type in the information that you want to use. I will just make a generic account, hit okay. And then the next step you will want to do is go back into that menu, password setup and startup auto login. You will click the startup auto login setup and then enter the information there, hit OK. The last step of this process is you will go back to the toolbar, configure, 
system configure and system idle protection. And you will turn on this option right here, hit OK, and then you will want to restart the VMS software. Once you do this, it is now set in a state to where once the system is idle for say longer than 10 seconds or whatever time period that you defined, it will automatically flip over as you see here to that other setting that you already set. As you see there in the top right now, we flipped over into our other login. Again, this is a safeguard because not anyone can walk up to the machine now and make settings changes because it's logged into a lower level account that does not have privileges to be able to do that. The last feature that I would like to explain is within the playback, the view log feature. So when reviewing video in view log, we have the ability to go into the content list and hit layout and you can click add and import from live view. When you do this, what it will give you is all of the layouts that you created in the live view. So it makes it a seamless experience for the user when they're transitioning from viewing their live video to viewing playback video. So if you're to double click on one of these layouts, it will lay out exactly like it did in the live view. And again, make it a seamless transition so they know where their cameras are at on the screen. This has been a video showing installers some quick and easy setup tips for the VMS software. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.